you saying playing along to a record, mm. there is something that <coughs> gets you much more in touch with the instrument mm -hmm. in in that way. In fact, something that I, quite often I find when I'm when my playing needs some freshening up as a trumpet player, <coughs> one of the things that I always find is really good is transcribing. Transcribing mm -hmm. is a classic thing for all jazz musicians, as you know. You know, yeah. they'll all go back and listen to Miles Davis and take down a solo or a John Coltrane solo, which has a wealth of information <clears throat> harmonically yeah. and rhythmically. But I, I often also find if my technique is feeling a bit soggy or a bit, you know, a bit stagnant, if I go back to the kind of source of listening to something and just replicating that sound on my instrument, mm. I sort of bypass a lot of the technical hang-ups and I'm, I'm just, you're just using the instrument as a conduit to replicate something. Mm -hmm. And there is something about that that gives you this kind of like, you don't think about technique too much and you don't get hung up on it. Therefore, that technique kind of flows a bit easier. So as a technical exercise, aside from harmonic and rhythmic development, I think transcribing or playing along to a record is a really, really powerful thing.